to hurt yourself if you played darts while drunk, but let's be honest, that would be hilarious. This is a message for Deadsec. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him I'm... Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the Deadsec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. But what are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building an... You get the idea. You're fucked. We are being hunted down like dogs. Let's kill him already. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show Deadsec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Yeah, we actually had some ideas about that. Take it away, Bags. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes Nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DEADSEC threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DEADSEC. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DEADSEC terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. Site. What is the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Serge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, meaning you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Thank you, talking computer. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual.
access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry, channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day? No. We fight people like you. We don't work for you. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? How about loyalty, you traitorous shit? Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. system must be acting on.
That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Excuse me? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any suggestions? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Any suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we unplug it and plug it back in? Close enough. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bond were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Damn it. Where's my backup? 
Could you shoot this drone down? I'd ask it for lightning to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long, I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Please stop this microwave drone. Stop this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Please stop this microwave drone. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little psylops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central court. Complete the cycle. Appreciated, Begley. Now let's finish this. With pleasure. Seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? 
That I control. Auto drive now enabled. <laughs> Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Densec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Okay, I'll be the idiot and ask. Why are we not just driving that car into a river? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Check that out. I'm kicking ass left and right. That sec is just like Sunday school. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Thank you, Bagley. I already knew that. Don't pay too much attention to Bagley's comments. Excellent job. Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, Counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Sold and throwing bits of metal around has got to count as training somehow. Malik, it is time to come clean. We know about your part in the Canada House bombing and the earlier bombings as well. So, the earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. So explain how you knew about Zero Day before approaching us. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? You've heard enough people that I don't care whether you are telling the truth or not. You're going to rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. 
I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty projects at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while they plan how to give Nigel Cass a black eye. 